are open, letter two of three. I stand still. I was listening to the angels very carefully. The angels were telling me over and over that my duty here in the cave is to write and to hide the holy word that they can be saved for the future and also to speak to the ones who truly want to learn about the true God that many will come to find me and they will ask me with a great thirst about the Lord and his life. They told me I must not hide anything from these people who seek God but to transfer to them all I knew all the moments close to the Lord that I remember when the Lord was among us in flesh. The angels told me that God put flames in the hearts of the people in various ways. Not the people who live now, but also the people in the far future from now, those following generations before his arrival. Father God loves, loves us all the same. Every single being he loves and he will forget no one. Not one, not only the ones who died, but also the ones who live in the flesh and who will also live in the future. Suddenly, clouds fill the sky. I lift my eyes up in the sky because I felt rain was coming, regardless that was summertime. Until I bring my sight back to the angels, they were gone. It began to storm. The rain was pouring down and the amount of water was so much as I never before have seen anything like it. I was outside and I wanted to feel the rain on me. I felt the rain on my skin. It was a cleansing rain for me, but mainly for my soul. In due time, the rain stopped. I entered the cave to change my wet garments. After I changed to dry garments, I went back outside. This place smells so fresh. Seems like everything was cleansed around me. Everything was cleansed in the deeper level. I saw an only one cloud on the blue, clean sky, and it had the figure of an angel. Perhaps I must remember the six angels of God who visited me a little while ago and they were speaking to me about God's plans. I went back to the cave and I kneeled in the place I was hearing the voice of the Lord. In my spirit, I was asking, what is the meaning and the purpose of the six angels who visit me today? I heard clearly my teacher explaining to me, my beloved John, the angels you saw today are my messengers. I send them to you, not only now, but always. These angels will visit you, visibly or not, for your own benefit. They will always protect you and all the things who belong to you, but not just for now, but in your future as well. The deep future on the last days, who you will be called again to write and to share all the things I will give you in your spirit then. When you will awake the souls of my children, then in the future. When the times will be very harsh, that's when the time of invitation and awakening of the souls and their spirits will happen. Their memory will return to them of what duties each and every one of them have in, in those days. So the six angels, they will be your guides. They will protect you and lead you. And each moment they will awake your own soul memory. Their hot eyes will be re restless on you until I return. These are the orders they have. In the most difficult times of your life, they will make themselves known to you even more, now and mainly then. They will make sure your soul to be unharmed from pain. Your body, yes, will feel tiredness, but your soul they will protect to the absolute. You must have a focused soul so you can fulfill your mission and the orders of your Lord. 
you will feel the angel's presence in the difficult situations and even in health problems, also of your loved ones, of your family, of the future. Every one of them will feel the divine in intervention. They will wonder for the outcome and they will be mesmerized. But you, John, you will know clear and deep within that your Lord was and always be with you forever. You are a chosen soul, my child. And the same will happen to many of my children and absolutely they will feel it. I must protect with great love all the ones who are my followers, the ones who work hard to continue the divine work for the kingdom. So first and foremost, I must protect them so the divine work can continue. I must protect the faithful light workers, the chosen of the beginning of the eons. Together, I and them, we will work together until my second coming. You, who are my present worker, you are those souls who gave your oath to the Father in front of the holy crowd of heaven. That you will work endlessly with flame of faith with me for my Father's kingdom. The kingdom of the Father will gather all the children of the earth. So don't wonder, my friend John, for the present of the six angels you saw today. John, they are your guardian angels for all the times and seasons of your existence. They will never leave you, never. I am blessing you, my son, my good friend, John. Hallelujah. Amen.